schools in Columbus, Ohio, opened again after a week-long teacher strike. What the teachers were on strike for? Of course, they wanted their 4% pay raise, but they also wanted climate-controlled classrooms, smaller class sizes, and they wanted building improvements. Come on, man. Help these people out. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendrick Avanci, a professor of gratitude, because all I'm ever going to do is get this gratitude journal and remind you all to write down the stories of why you are grateful. That way you'll have less negative thoughts. This is day number 13 of 90 that we are rocking and rolling with school teachers. That's anybody who might be driving a bus because you're trying to teach them kids to get back there and be still. It's anybody who is working in the cafeteria because you're trying to teach them kids some kind of respect for whoever cooks. Of course, we're talking about the educators because they're in front of the classroom. The principals who are in charge of those educators. All of you, salespeople, all of you are in the field of education. And that's why you need this gratitude journal. Starting up today, we are rocking with this Malcolm X quote. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. I'm going to say it again, teachers. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. I'm repeating that again because Malcolm X has a special place in my heart. I was in sixth grade when the first time I ever got in trouble in school. And that was because in sixth grade, I had a particular teacher who said that I was lying and there was no way that this kid in sixth grade, a black kid in sixth grade could read the autobiography of Malcolm X for a school book report. Yo dog, I read that book. I read that book. I read Black Like Me. I was always reading books like that because my parents are both educators. Damn right I was reading shit like that even way back then. The teacher called me all type of liars. Had to have my parents come to school and prove that I actually read the book. I mean, it was ridiculous. And there was nothing I could do about leaving the classroom. She was on my ass for the rest of the year because then she thought that I embarrassed her and everything else to the rest of the school. Yeah, there was a whole issue my entire sixth grade year. So every time I see a Malcolm X quote, I'm quick to grab it, I'm quick to hold on to it, clutch it tight, and I make sure others understand and know the power, the respect, the admiration I have for the man Malcolm X. Okay, now that we are down through with the whole trip down memory lane, let's talk about these three reasons I am grateful. Remember, you're supposed to write down the story of why you are grateful that way you'll have less negative thoughts. That's the entire reason we are here rocking and rolling with Gratitude Journal University or the University of Gratitude. I'm gonna let y'all vote for that later on. But by number one gratitude today, I am so grateful to start my own and very first email campaign. Nope, I am not selling anything. I am just offering invites to listen to the podcast and I'm offering interviews to trade and share secrets of how to relieve the stress in the classroom. This is me stepping outside of my own comfort zone to grow this business right here at this podcast. And I was telling y'all earlier, we're about to have to change the name of the podcast because as much as I love the name Mindset Over Bullshit, it is absolutely deterring me from speaking in certain arenas and areas because of the cuss word. I got to do something with that. I thought about changing the mindset over BS, but I really don't want to do the word bullshit like that. Either I'm going to have it or I'm not. It's either going to be Gratitude Journal University or University of Gratitude. Again, I'm going to let y'all vote for that later on. Gratitude number two. Here we go. So one of my original homies, hit me up early this morning and he checked out my website, thought it looked good. That brought back some good memories of growing up. It took me to a good place. 
and I was tripping on, I had been tripping all day because I was being denied this, trying to get my CAT scans done, something with my stomach, my abdomen, all that type of stuff. So I was in a bad place. I was struggling with that, man. And him contacted me, chopping it up with me for a little while. Took me back to the old days and I appreciate that. I really did. It got a smile out of me. And because it got a smile out of me, I'm gonna leave it there. It got a smile out of me and I felt a whole lot better. That's how you keep your mood right. Gratitude number three. I am on Amazon Music and I'm on the Audible app now. That is another step up in the visibility of this podcast. And Mindset Over Bullshit is about to change its name. Today is Tuesday, and I think this is the last day. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to put the vote up, but the last day will be the airing, I believe, of this podcast. After Tuesday, I got to make a decision. What I'm going to do with this, man, because I got too much going. I just told you I got an email campaign going. I got calls to start making. And as I make these calls to senior to senior retirement communities and to hospice centers, the word bullshit is going to stop me with any gatekeepers and stuff like that. So I got to do something with that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the name, either Gratitude Journal University or University of Gratitude. Y'all get in these comments, especially on the Spotify and on Anchor. Get in the comments, answer the poll right there. If you are on Instagram, at Kendrick Avant, the name is right there, at Kendrick Avant. I'm going to have a few stories up where you can put your vote in on that. University of Gratitude or Gratitude Journal University. Y'all stay pretty. Be grateful. I'm going to let y'all go early today. Y'all got stuff to do. I'm out. Stop waiting on someone else to make you feel better. Stop waiting on the kids to do their chores to make you feel better. Quit waiting on your job to recognize your value to make you feel better. Pick up that pen, pick up that spiral, pick up that journal, and start writing out these stories because you deserve it to yourself to be as good as you can be.